Welcome back to Daily Blast Live. In today's Chatting with the Stars, I sat down with fellow comedian Sarah Silverman to discuss her role as Wreck-It Ralph's best friend Vanellope in the upcoming movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet. But first, we bonded over a connection we made on Twitter. Check it out. Sarah, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good, it's good to meet you. Before we get started, I wanted to thank you personally. Uh, you actually retweeted, I had a, uh, a comment about veterans and the kneeling uh, and how those two were being conflated on my talk show. If you want to have the discussion about vets, we can have that discussion. If you want to have the discussion about police brutality, which no one wants to have, which about black men being killed with no repercussions, we can have that one. But we have to decide which one we're going to have. You retweeted that. It went super viral. So I just want to thank you personally ah, for that. My pleasure. I, yes. It was inspiring. Wreck-It Ralph 2. So cool. All we got to do is find a part to fix your game. Everything goes back to the way it was. But where are we going to find that? The internet. What? And I was looking at the movie, and it seems like it's showing kids how to navigate the internet. How do you think the internet would have affected you growing up? Well, I can't imagine the world that kids today have inherited. Right. Putting the movie in the internet, it is such a reflection of the world as it is today and humanity. Right. Truly. I mean, it can build you up, it can tear you down. You know, I know it's a Disney sequel, but it is really about the human condition and that feelings are all we're made of. That's what I appreciate. It was just like the human connection, how it's like that's going away. I drive around, I never see kids playing in anybody's yard anymore. Remember that? Like where yeah. you would see children outside and people interacting? Yeah, you come home like when it's pitch black on yes. your bike and you're drenched with sweat. Right, because you know you're in trouble. Can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you came home late. What would you say was the craziest website that they visited, in your opinion? You know, I love the Disney princess yeah. uh, site. Do people assume all your problems got solved because a big strong man showed up? Yes, what is up with that? She, she is, is a princess. princess. <laughs> to really just show the progression of what is Disney princess from a time that now we see as problematic. Yeah, like it's okay to have a problematic past if you acknowledge it and are changed forever by it. That's a lesson in a Disney movie, but it's also an expression by Disney. It's why they are able to exist for so long, because they change and grow with the times, you know? Appreciate you, Sarah. Thanks for sitting down. Thank you so much. It looks like a, an awesome movie with an awesome message, uh, but I also loved that you guys just had just like a really sincere conversation. It seemed like to be like this mutual respect between the two of you. Yeah, well, we're comics, you know, and that's what we do. You know, Tori, we spend most of our time running our mouth and then somebody calls your name and you walk on stage, but we're just kind of used <laughs> to talking to each other all the time. So it felt very natural. She's awesome. I'm a fan. I am too. Job, I think buddy. she's a fan of you. Thank you.